Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is blitz and pass rush mechanics. When you talk to uh, linebackers, uh, that uh, you'll, you'll see uh, a lot of times false steps when they want to blitz. So if a linebacker is going to blitz here, the first thing he'll do is he'll take a false step before he actually advances. And the sack is missed right there at the very beginning of the play. Okay, so we would like to be effective and efficient with our footwork, whether it's blitzing, whether it's pass rushing, whether it's coming off the edge, where again there's no wasted steps that we take advantage of every foot movement we have towards advancing to the quarterback. So uh, we're going to show you some blitz technique on, on pop-ups here by our linebackers, uh, as you'll see. Now, it's also important to know this. When we, when we rush the quarterback, and when we, when we rush, we, we're like Pinocchio or a puppet. Same hand, same foot. Same hand, same foot. That's the way that we coach up pass rush. So it would be step and club, dip and rip, whatever the case may be. Same hand, same foot. So we put the linebackers in a quartered position where they've already on the outside edge of a respective blocker. Could be an offensive lineman, could be a running back. And on the snap, we're going to execute a club and rip. Okay, so here it is right there. Same hand, same foot. We've already put them to the, an advantageous position where they've got the guy on an edge. Same hand, same foot on the snap. Okay, now we've moved them off the football two steps. Okay, so we're still looking at their footwork. Are they going to fall step? We want to get to the edge of the blocker so we can same hand, same foot. It's like dancing. And, and I talk to these guys about being in the Arthur Murray School of Blitz footwork. Because if their footwork's right, and you really win in, in terms of pass rush and blitzing with your feet. So we'll work on a stimulus getting off on the ball, but same hand, same foot. They're about two steps off the target left and right. You'll see it here, same hand, same foot. Good ball. Now watch them here. This is from an angle. Again, this is really kind of a warm-up for us. Just We've already gone through stretch, but you'll see some false steps. Now they're, they're doing a nice job of attacking downhill here. Watch them on the snap. But look at the false steps. I mean, that's not what we want. We don't want a false step where now we're, we're giving the, the offense the advantage because we've lost a step in our blitz. They're off the football, they're going to work on the edge, they're working hands, eyes, hands, and feet, eyes on the ball, good footwork in terms of get off, hands and feet on the bag, but let's don't fall step. So we've got them on an angle here, they're coming downhill, don't fall step, be tight to color, all the coaching points I think that we all use, we don't, we want, look, look, look at the false step right there. That's what happens all the time, whether it be at your level, in the NFL, wherever it is, get that out of the game. Take that false step out of the game for your players. Here's another angle from the side now. Just working on, they're working on just a uh, side to side, good hips, good hands, good feet. So here it is here. And we're just kind of emphasizing, you know, the D-line love to do this. You see a lot of players uh, working on their bags here. We're overemphasizing good hip swing in terms of trying to get good pass rush mechanics by our players. All right, now. After we go from the bags, the pop-ups, now we're going to go to against like players. So we've got the ball again for the stimulus. We're coming downhill, and we're working on a pass rush move, their best pass rush move, getting on the edge of a respective blocker. These are linebackers who are lining up as offensive linemen. So we've got a target, and they're working right now on their eyes, their hands, and their feet, try, feet trying to win the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, sometimes we have a couple of tongue twisters in here, so stay with me. But again, you can see the get off here, coaching on the get off. Now, we, we're working on a counter move here where we've been working on the right side defensively. Now we're going to flash and counter club to the left, as you can see here. They don't have to have a, a, a whole litany of moves. A favorite move and maybe then a counter move would be really what you want to emphasize so they can really get good at the fundamental and the technique. Here we've got a drill against, uh, 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 it, this is in training camp against our running backs and there were our tight ends. And the way we like to run the drills, we like to have two men that are live, that are up. And then obviously one of them will be the, the live blitzer, the guy that's going to go. But we don't want the back to know so we can focus in on one guy. So as you'll watch this drill on the snap, 
We've got two defenders coming, but actually the inside backer is going to try to win the one-on-one -on -one move against the back, as you'll see here. Very good drill, I think, for both your offense and your defense uh, in terms of technique, coaching up technique. Okay, so now we've got the outside defender coming, trying to win the one-on-one. -on -one. Get on edges. We'd like to get out of bull rushing in this period because we, we don't want to, again, put a lot of taxing uh, energy on our own players. Get on edges, make them work. You get good at the way to win the one on one. But that's our uh, one on one against uh, the line, uh, the running backs. And then we have a half line blitz period. Very similar where we'll put the line in, the, in there also. And this happens to be with my own players right now, the linebackers. But where we're working on pass rush, okay, or pressure rush. So we've got an outside. Uh, look here for the outside backer and inside rush for the inside linebacker. Again, trying to work two players at a time on their get off, on their rush mechanics, and on their, again, fit in terms of the uh, pass rush technique. Here's another good shot of just trying to work on footwork using the shoot. Okay, so we're going to have the offensive line and simulate pass. We're going to move on the snap of the football. And what we're trying to get accomplished right now is just a downhill, stay low, blitz mechanic by the two inside linebackers. Watch. So on the snap, they're downhill, they're tight. We're trying to make sure that we don't give a lot of pad level, that it's nice and low in terms of the mechanic of the shoot blitz. So not so much worried about the protection as we're worried about great get off by the footwork of our linebackers. And then again, staying low, utilizing the, the the height level of the shoot to help us stand down low. So this is, a, again, a great get-off, concentrating the mitten on, on that phase of it, the get-off, uh, and also uh, staying low to follow through on the blitz mechanic. So you can see this is what we're trying to get done on this shoot drill. It's somewhat improvised, but you see